clindamycin is something I know you've heard of. Its trade name is Cleosin, but absolutely clindamycin is something that you're going to give uh, throughout your career, okay? So its indication is for skin infections, respiratory tract infections, septicemia, uh, intra-abdominal infections, and osteomyelitis, okay? So if you work in a, in, an, in the hospital in any sort of capacity, you're probably going to give this because you're going to see uh, respiratory tract infections, sepsis, uh, skin infections throughout your career. So what does it do? Well, first of all, its therapeutic class is anti-infective. Its action is that it actually inhibits protein synthesis, okay? So what that means is that means it's bacteriostatic, Okay, so it just kind of stops the, the protein from, from synthesizing and continuing on. So it just kind of stops the bacteria from growing. It doesn't kill it, just kind of stops it. Okay, so some of the, like we said, some of the reasons we're going to give it are, are, are pretty broad spe- spectrum. Okay, skin infections, respiratory sepsis, intra abdominal and osteomyelitis. Some of the nursing considerations for this are like with a lot of antibiotics, we really want to watch out for GI type things. Okay, things like pseudomembranous colitis, diarrhea. Okay, so our patients are really going to develop this diarrhea as associated uh, from this antibiotic. And so we want to just monitor our bowel function. It can also cause arrhythmias. It can cause phlebitis at the site. We want to assess for the infection like we always, 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 always talk about. We're going to obtain cultures prior to therapy. And then we're going to monitor liver function tests and monitor our CBC. So this is really just a, a pretty basic uh, antibiotic that you're going to be giving. It's something to be familiar with. Cleosin, clindamycin, bacteriostatic, watch the diarrhea. And a lot of the times what you're going to be tested on in nursing school and uh, on the NCLEX are just the importance of grabbing your cultures prior to starting therapy, okay? You never want to start your patient on something, start to control the infection, and then grab your cultures. It's kind of too late then, and we we can't, if we start on this broad spectrum and start to control that, we never really figure out what was going on, and then we can't really dial down the antibiotic that we're giving, okay, and, and, and really target the organism that we're trying to get rid of. All right, that is clintomyosis. This has been another episode of the MedMaster Podcast by NRSNG. To keep the learning going, head over to medmastercourse.com and use the coupon code PODCAST. MedMaster Course is the ultimate guide to nursing pharmacology with over 30 hours of video and audio lecture material. Never guess a med again, crush the NCLEX, and have confidence in your nursing pharmacology skills. Head over to medmastercourse.com, use the coupon code PODCAST. We'll see you on the inside.